Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a comic slide transition. So I've been just disabling resample on all of my clips and now I'm going to go and apply um, as blurmo curves to my bottom clip. Then I'm going to animate the Y axis, the shift Y. And the first keyframe, I'm going to put it in line with the beginning of the second clip so that the comic slide effect will move at the same time. So you're going to have your first keyframe there and it's going to be slow and you're going to put it at zero. Then you're going to move forward six keyframes. and set this keyframe to fast and 0 0.3. Then you're going to move forward another two keyframes and set this to 0 0.5 and set this to fast fade as well. Now you're going to go to the beginning of your third clip and set the keyframe to 0 0.51 and slow for a little extra movement. And now you're going to move forward five keyframes instead of six, because my third clip was a little bit shorter, so I decided on five keyframes instead. Then you change this to 0 0.7 and change the mode to fast. Move forward two keyframes and set it to 1000 because this last clip is going to be completely out of sight. Now I'm going to mute these tracks so that you can see what this movement looks like. As you can see, it moves up a little bit and then completely out of view. Now we're going to copy the same settings for the second clip. So you're going to apply S Blurmo curves again, animate the shift Y, and their first keyframe is going to be minus 1000, so it's completely out of view from the main frame. Then you're going to move forward six keyframes, just as you did with the um, clip underneath. And obviously you're going to set the mode back to slow. And then change this next keyframe to 0 0.3. Set this to fast move forward two keyframes and set this to 0 0.2 and also set this to fast. Now go back to the beginning of your third clip, set another keyframe and this instead is going to be um, 0 0.190. Set that to slow, move forward five keyframes like you did with the clip underneath, and set this to 0, 0.0. Set it to fast, move forward two keyframes, and set this to 0 0.5. Then you're going to add one more keyframe since this is still going to be in the frame once you have your third clip and set it to slow and 0 0.550. And now you can see that it has this pretty smooth movement. Now we're going to add the keyframes to your last clip. Again, set this to minus one. Go forward five keyframes. Then set this to 0 0.6 and fast. Oh, and I forgot, sorry. Set that first keyframe to slow. <laughs> Move forward two keyframes and set this to 0 0.1 and set this to fast as well. Then move to the end and as we did with the clip underneath it, 
we're going to add an extra 50 points, so 0 0.050. Now, let's preview this so we can take a look at the movement. So, as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. The only thing is that I don't really like these straight borders. So, I'm going to go to the pan and crop and go down to mask. And then taking the rectangle mask tool, I'm going to select the area that I want and turn it a bit, rotate it with the rotating tool just going to enlarge the box so that it can fit the frame completely. X out of it and now you can see that it has a slanted effect but there's a little bit of black border. So you can always like mess around with the settings. You can make it go up a little bit higher so that it covers that black area. And then, of course, you're going to have to change the other keyframes just slightly, just so it can match what you have with the other layers. So instead of 190, you're going up to 90. Um, the others can stay the same. And that way, you can get a bit of a smoother effect. Again, you can do the same slanted border effect that you did with that second clip. So again, go to the vent pan crop. This time I wanted to move down the frame a little bit, so I did that. Then you can slant your rectangle box again, just so you can get that area selected. And now, voila, you have a little pop-up. Looks kind of cute with the slanted effect. Now, I'm not too fond of the, how the third clip pops up a little bit too suddenly. So I'm going to change um, how fast that second clip moves up. I'm going to move it up just a little bit. So like maybe to 0 0.1, but even then it's a little too little, so maybe 0 0.2. And then when I play it back again, it should be a bit smoother. And there you have it. That is your comic book slide transition. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to add a little bit of shadow to the clip to give it a little bit of boost, you can do it with the S drop shadow. These are my settings. If you want to copy them, you just pause the video. Um, you don't really have to use mine. Just play around with it and see which works best for you. I'm going to apply that S drop effect to the third clip as well, just to give it a little bit of pop. Now I'm going to play it through again, just so you can see the final result. And there you have it. That's your comic slide pop-up effect. Thanks for watching.